This build is going to be a kind of a portable bookshelf that you can assemble and disassemble easily with no screws. It just slides together. I've got these pre-assembled panels. These are four feet tall. I already cut it in half. And that's going to form the vertical structure, the support pieces. I'm going to cut this one, which is six feet long, in half. So it's two, three feet. And cut those in half again, vertically, or lengthwise. So I have four three-foot shelves. What's going on here is, when I got home, I saw that the glue had come undone on this nice glued up panel. So I'm re-gluing it. And that's the start of this project. I've sanded the shelves down to 150 grit. I've also sanded the vertical supports down to 150 grit. What I've done here is clamped on some supports. All the way to the bookshelf pretty much sits right on these three inches because of the taper that's right there. So it'll lean back against the wall. Anyway, because it sits on these three inches, it puts the entire stress of the whole bookshelf right here on this joint. To alleviate that, I made these pieces out of alder, the same wood that I put here. It's nice, clear, light-grained wood and very strong. So I made these pieces of alder, kind of scraps from making those pieces, glued them together, and I'm gluing them on now to reinforce this joint. And I did this just for the hell of it. So it'll look kind of cool. Give it some interest. I'm going to go over it a little while later with the router. So it's rounded off. So they just look like this. You can see me struggling with the router a bit because I was getting some friction from the bottom. As you'll see, the router nut gouged some little furrows in the wood. I sanded everything to 220 grit and then put on a coat of sanding sealer. After that dried in about an hour, I buffed it smooth with a white buffing pad and started putting on the satin polyurethane. I sprayed on two coats. I just put on the first coat of water-based satin polyurethane. It's shiny now, but as it dries, it's going to, of course, go to more satin. I'm just spraying it in the garage here, but I think I'm pretty good as far as dust because I've got my dust collector running. I've also got a fan running just to help keep the air moving so it'll dry quicker. I know that stirs up dust, but again, dust collector. There's the finished bookshelf. As you can see, it assembles and disassembles easily by slipping the shelves out of the slots and the vertical support. These bookshelves are great for people who are going to be moving around a lot, like college students. This is my fourth set. I usually go with a thicker shelf but I went with a thinner one this time because of the specific needs of the person who's getting it.